All right, hey, Ethan. Um, just give us one minute, and then you can go ahead and present. Okay, I think we have everyone that we need to get in this end. So you can go ahead and start. Just give us a basic introduction, um, like your name, like uh, what, what your project was, what inspired you to do it, where you're from, and then you can get into actually presenting it. Um. Can everyone else in the meeting hear me or is it just... Yes, yeah, yes, I, I can hear you well. Yep. I think he's trying to fix the issue right now. All right, can you hear us now? Okay, yeah. So um, basically just give us a brief introduction about yourself, where you're from, what kind of inspired you to make uh, your project, and then you can get into demonstrating it for us. Sure thing, okay. Uh, so hello everybody, I'm Ethan Varghese, and I am living in Pleasanton, California. And essentially, uh, me and my team, uh, sorry, they're not here right now, but we got the idea essentially from looking at um, ESL classes or English secondary language classes, um, especially in the Bay Area. Um, they don't exactly have a tool right now where they can um, like watch online education content in their own language or have it in their own language. So essentially um, what we made is say you put in... Um, a video in uh in english so much of uh, online content today is in english but almost 60 percent of the world doesn't speak it as their primary language so that's the problem that we're addressing um so essentially uh, how we fix this is you insert said video podcast pdf into our product and then after that it, you select the input and output language so say i'm watching a video in mandarin I can select the output language in like Hindi or something. And then after that, I can, um, then after that, it generates the notes in the output language. Uh, then after that, it also, um, after it generates notes, it also um, gives you an AI tutor where you can like ask questions about like the said content. It gives you quizzes where you can quiz yourself about it and also flashcards. But then the novel part of this is that like for videos, especially it like dubs the content into the output language so that you can watch the video in the same um, at the same rate that the person is talking with their um, it matches like the rate of their mouth uh, so that you're watching the video in your own selected language. And this is essentially the thing, the problem that we were targeting uh, when we were trying to create this product and we came up with Speak Smart. I think it's better if I show you more than um, like just saying it so they can like get a get a better idea in case nobody like, like anybody didn't see it yet. Uh, can you see it? See my screen? Uh, yeah. Yes, but, you can. Like, um, 
is just a uh, uh, like a part of that. It's it's like compressed. Oh, interesting. Okay, one sec. Let me check. All right, can you see it now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just walk you through essentially the main components of the video, right? Um, so uh, this is called Speak Smart, and essentially how it works is like you go into there, um, then you sign in, and then you take a selected input, um, and then like, like for example, this YouTube link, you like, just turn off the, so you go in, and then you essentially input like the URL, and if you see here, there's also an upload file where you can put in like said MP4, or MP3 files. You select the input and output language. In this instance, I just did English to English, just to show how it works. But uh, after that, it makes uh, emoji cool notes. So this, I just did this for fun, and then it like makes you kind of like cool notes with little emojis so that people can enjoy the user interface. And like, say you selected Spanish example instead of English, then you would get the same notes in Spanish. So um, right now, the technologies that we're using to make this is we're using React for the front end framework, and then uh, we're hosting the API in um, another so another GitHub repository, uh, which we coded up in Python, and uh, from, and then we connected those two. Uh, in, in the future, when we're going to release this, we're probably going to host that on a Google Cloud uh, server somewhere. Uh, so essentially, let me show you the rest of it. So it creates these notes so that people can study them in their language, then flashcards, and then a transcript, and then said prompt where they can ask whatever questions they have about it. I just did a pretty simple prompt, but essentially it does that. And then... It also uh, gives you uh, said quizzes where you can quiz yourself about the said video. Uh, and then this is the output video in like the said language. Uh, and now I, was, I think in the rest of the video, I also show how a PDF would work. Uh, so say you put in a PDF in whatever language and like I in this one, I did English to Spanish. Um, it will make notes in Spanish so that people uh, can learn in their own language. So essentially the main, uh, and then it does the same main components as before. Uh, so essentially uh, where I would want to take Speak Smart in the future is release it so that, especially in English secondary language classes um, in said Bay Area, if I actually release this as a product so that people can uh, use this uh, to learn in their own language. Um, and that's my vision of Speak Smart. Uh, so essentially, yeah. Does anybody have any questions? Do you have the, um, do you already have the video to, you said the video can be played live with, uh, with target language. Do you already have it working? Uh, yeah, it is working. Nice. Uh, would you mind playing an example of that? Like just, uh... yeah, it's like, sorry. And this, the only reason I didn't have it in this video is because like, uh, I could not I cannot screen record audio, so I just did okay. play it. But like essentially it works. Um nice. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have like a demo of that, but no, no. no worries. How much time does it take? Like once you once the video is input, how does yeah. it, how much time does it take to uh, yeah. generate the target video? So it generates it in about like three to four seconds. Um, all the all the stuff when you put it in, it generates everything in around three to four seconds, and that depends on the content as well. As however, for example, there are some YouTube videos where the transcript is already made, and we call that from the YouTube mm. API, and that takes around three to four seconds. And then something else which uh, doesn't have a set transcript already generated by YouTube that might take ten to fifteen seconds. Got it. The way you do it is you generate the transcript and then you translate it and then you overlay yeah, it on top of it. Exactly. So essentially we did how we made the actual video part is we take said speech. We call, um, we do a speech to text API, take that text, translate it into another language, uh, so the output language. And then after that, we make it in the output. Um, then we dub it into the output video language. And essentially, you can watch them. And then after that, we use um, FFMEG, which is essentially a YouTube library to like um, make that said um, voice, the generated um, 
speech in the other language to the same uh, length of the video so that it's like matching the person's voice as well. You could um, you could try these voice to voice models uh, that Yeah. are pretty new that can match your uh, tone Yeah. as well. So I think that could that's, be the next thing. that's the future thing that I was really looking into. I think some of those APIs, however, were like really expensive. I, I would look into be creating something on my own, uh, maybe later on if I release this. Um, and then I think that'd be really cool. And yeah, do you guys have any other suggestions? Um, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I know, um, probably right now it's not at a point where you can do this, but, um, do you think in the future you can, like, for example, let's say if, if you're in a zoom call, can the, um, can the software take what's going on in the zoom call live and then compile it into the same type of, uh, data you have over there? Yeah, Like, you could actually do that like really simple, really easy with this. All you'd have to do, um, that's a kind of additional step which I could work on is like you'd have to like screen record said Zoom meeting, right? And then after that, the upload file thing, it takes MP4s, MP3s, PDFs, right? You can just put that in. It does the exact same thing. Um, however, uh, I know, th but the problem with that is like, I think that's already a market that's already been explored into a lot. And I saw this as something more niche. because it's more educational and so, uh, like something that's not been targeted and the, uh, at least in what I've seen. But yeah, that's a great suggestion. And so did you use any paid APIs or is it just open source? Um, most of them are free. I mean, uh, I used OpenAI as well. That's uh, slightly paid. And then I think what, whenever I do get a transcript, um, that would also be paid. And then later on, I think the only other thing that I would need to buy is um, if I uh, start hosting if the host, hosting the server, it would be on Google Cloud or AWS or something like that. And that would probably um, cost some amount of money as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, judges, you have any other questions? Yeah, maybe simple question. So is it primarily for uh, students who learn English or it's Yeah. across? It's, it's across the world, right? So much of the world doesn't speak English as a primary language, uh, Mm -hmm. not only in the area, but like across the world. But like we see that so much of online content is in the selected language. So it would be for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the reason I ask, because when we choose uh, the language, uh, we have different options, right? So it's not only English. For sure. Yeah, so you can use other languages. Um, Would it be a way to identify language uh, automatically, um, like the content language? There would be. Uh, the only reason I, um, in the selected API that I did, um, Mm -hmm. there was an option for actually like, I guess, um, in, instead of inputting an input language, it like automatically like gets it. The only problem is there's a limited, that API only has it limited to five languages. And I thought at least the scope of it, it would be much better if it was open to like maybe like 36 languages instead of that. So that's the only reason why I did that. Got it. Got it. Okay. Nice. Thanks. No problem. Okay. Um, overall, I really like this project. I think it's like well developed. Your presentation was really good. And I think like the scope for it in the future is pretty good. Like once it actually gets released, Mm -hmm. the things you can do with this, I think it's a great idea. And again, how you said it was you're like targeting a niche line with uh, specifically languages. So I think that's pretty helpful. Um, Yeah. so overall, I think it's a great project. Um, thanks for participating. If you have any other like questions or comments, you can always email us. Other than that, you know, I really like the project. So Thank you so thanks much. for Uh, this was a great opportunity. And if you guys have any um, things to add to this product, uh, I would always be open to that as well because I think I'm really proud of it. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thanks.